your fourth day of driving. You're going to be uh, going from Sioux Falls to St. Louis and you're going to be driving along the Missouri River pretty much the whole time until you run into the Mississippi River. April of 2019 and it was under some historic flood levels so you might actually see some residual flood damage perhaps if you're taking the roads closest to the Missouri River. The river uh, level currently is I think at like 16 feet and when I was driving by that it was above flood stage so it had twice as much flood stage was like 30 feet so it's remarkable. The geology for most of the drive is sigh, sedimentary rocks. Um, they're, they're cool, you know, they're rocks. I like them. They don't excite me like metamorphic and igneous rocks but um, they are primarily, uh, you'll see like glacial scouring and glacial deposits so it's very flat and um, let's see uh, there's also a lot of sedimentary kind of marine sort of rocks in that area um, you won't see any of that because it's been flattened uh, by glaciation and then um, covered by glacial outwash so it's been very um, wiped clean in fact there's an interesting meteor crater that is structurally visible from like geophysical research but you don't see any expression of it on the surface because of um, the sediments that happened after that it's kind of interesting lots of sediments the whole drive once you get closer to st louis there are some interesting things one is um the new madrid fault zone here's a picture of it and what's interesting about this is it's actually um not close to any tectonic boundary so you wouldn't expect earthquakes to occur there but it is a seismically active zone and one of the reasons why is because it's a failed rift it's like that the continent tried to split apart at one point in its ancient history and it didn't but it made a weakness in the crust and you also have um, a dome that um, kind of rose up it's called the Ozark Dome not like the Black Hills it's not really as beautifully symmetric as that one it's made a different way but um, this one, the oldest rocks, the most ancient rocks, are in the St. Francois Mountains, which are kind of south-southwest of St. Louis. So you might be able to see them in the distance as you're driving about. That's kind of the summary of your drive today, and um, I hope you enjoy it.